Greetings and welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Lucy. Welcome to Real Life in Lucy's Kitchen, where I bring you recipes from Cameroon and all over the world. Today, we are making poulet deji. Poulet simply means chicken. And here is the chicken, guys, that I marinated yesterday night. If you want to know how I marinated this, check here. The video is there playing. So the chicken was marinated yesterday and I just want you guys to understand that Poulet Deje is a dish that was prepared for the notables back in the days, okay? So they used to call it chicken for the director general. That is the interpretation of Poulet Deje. But these days you can find Poulet Deje in any restaurant, you can get it in any party, okay? So today I just want to show, share with you guys how I prepare my poulet deji. There are so many recipes out there, but if you like what I do, please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel, okay? So guys, I also have here some yellow and green bell pepper. I've got the red bell pepper. Here is my tomatoes, okay? I made this last night. It's just fresh tomato and some paprika, which I parboiled, then blended into a paste, okay? And here we have some green beans, some carrots. Here I've got some red and white onions, spring onions, chili pepper for some heat, garlic and ginger. And Poulet Deje, guys, always goes with some ripe plantain. Keep watching, guys and keep watching to see how i bring all this together to make a delicious finger licking dish so to start guys in a pot just go ahead and put your chicken okay and then we are going to cook this on high heat until it is well done So, while the chicken is cooking, you want to go ahead and marinate your vegetables, okay? This step is very, very, very important in cooking any dish that requires fresh vegetables. You really want to marinate them beforehand, okay? For the marinade, you just sprinkle some salt and a little bit of aromat, okay? Just give that a So it's been cooking without water for about five minutes. Now I'm going to add in some water and let it cook until it's perfectly
so here is the plantain it's been washed so at this time you want to cut it at your preferred shape okay you can cut it diagonal horizontal anyhow you want to cut it is up to you So this is my preferred shape. I have a reason for doing this. My plantain is almost over overripe. Ule Deje requires plantain that is in between, but I think it's perfect like this. It's just perfect. But I prefer this shape so that it doesn't it doesn't go soggy when I cook it. Okay, it's going to come out bold. If you cut it too thin, it might be mushy. If you understand what I mean, it might become mushy while cooking.
to be very careful to not overcrowd the pan. If you overcrowd the pan, it will not fry. It will be cooking and not fry. Hence, it's gonna drink oil. Okay, guys. Our chicken is ready. Yes, our chicken is ready. And here's the chicken broth that we're going to use to cook our you see when you buy the female chicken it gives you oil like you can see in my pot got all that oil it's coming from the chicken Live chicken, you need to allow your oil to be very hot so that when you cook the chicken, it immediately turns brown because you don't want it to be hard. Okay, live chicken is already hard, so when the oil is hot, you just put the chicken inside and turn it immediately. By so doing, it will be brown, but inside it will still be moist. Okay, guys. Here you can see So now I'm going to put in 
our chicken and put it in our fried chicken okay When you parboil the, no, when you marinate the vegetables, you actually draining them of their liquid. You can see, you can see the liquid that is remaining there. So now we're going to add in our vegetables. adding in the vegetable you just leave it to steamer for two minutes two minutes Thank you, Jenny.
Okay, we'll just leave it to steamer for another two minutes and our pilet de jus, it's ready. Ready for delivery. Done and dusted. Ready for delivery. Done and dusted. 